Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. Scientists are studying our closest Earth-sized exoplanet neighbor, Proxima b, to determine if it's habitable. A recent computer simulation has provided good data on the question. Using Earth as a model, the simulation placed a planet with an Earth-like atmosphere into Proxima b's orbit around its host star, Proxima Centauri. The simulation determined that the planet would likely lose its atmosphere from the effects of Proxima Centauri's intense radiation and frequent flaring. Observations from our Chandra X-ray Observatory and other data were used for the simulation. A NASA book is helping many people learn more about the total solar eclipse across the U.S. on August 21st. Getting a Feel for Eclipses is a tactile guide designed to help illustrate basic concepts about the alignment of the Sun, Moon, and Earth during a solar eclipse. It enables sighted as well as visually impaired people to better understand the historic event. Over 5,000 copies of the Eclipse book have been sent to schools, libraries, science centers, and other institutions. After 40 years of searching, scientists have finally found evidence of G-mode gravity waves in our sun. Using data from our and the European Space Agency's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, or SOHO, spacecraft. Tracking the movement of this specific type of seismic activity through the sun has enabled scientists to suggest that the sun's core rotates nearly once a week, which is about four times faster than rotation rates at its surface and intermediate layers. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. August 5th is the five-year anniversary of our Curiosity rover's landing on Mars. The mission team exalted at radio confirmation and first images from Curiosity after the rover's touchdown using a new sky crane landing method. In its first year, the mission achieved its goal by finding that the Gale Crater region of the planet offered conditions suitable for microbial life in the past. The rover continues to explore Mars to better understand how this habitable world changed through time. On August 4th at NASA headquarters, young research professionals discussed the summer projects they completed using NASA Earth observations and modeling data to address a range of environmental issues around the globe. The projects are part of the DEVELOP program, a nationwide training and development effort sponsored by the NASA Science Mission Directorate. The program is designed to help prepare participants to face current and future environmental challenges. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at www.nasa.gov.